We now know the semi-final lineup. We will have Belgium against France on the Tuesday. The and bracket's easy to work out now, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think you can just about <laughs> work it out. Yeah, I, I think you can yeah. certainly still see the easier side. Croatia and England, meanwhile, is the game on the Wednesday. Uh, let's just take a look at the early odds according to the bookies. England, 6-4 to four on favourites to advance to the World Cup final. Croatia, 6-5. to five. Um, Ali? I feel like you're coming to me first because I've, uh, I've denied you the opportunity of having me jump on the bandwagon. With yes, you. no, exactly, yeah. Well, that's over. Is it? I'm going all in. It's coming home? Well, I don't know. I don't know what home is, but <laughs> it's going somewhere. And I do think that this English national team makes it to the Why? final. What, what Why? What, what's the difference? What have you seen that has, has changed? Well, uh, one of them, he just mentioned, Craig, that, that Croatia perhaps is not as good as we thought they were. Maybe everybody looked good against Argentina. Yeah. Everybody has looked great against Argentina, and Croatia did as well. And I just didn't really like the fact that uh, there were moments today where they could have controlled the game better, and they didn't. I think England can do that against Croatia, and I think there's athleticism from England that can be superior to the back line of Croatia. So in the end, uh, the balance goes to England, and yes, they make it to the final. England will win, I think, against Croatia. Bet, Robert. Croatia. You're Mr. Negative. <laughs> no, no, I think England will win. Croatia's wide players, I think, will be taken back. You like that, don't you? Take yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's and by way, because that's what they did in the previous game, I think, against Denmark. So I think um, it, I think England will win the game. They will control who, the game. Who surprised you, Robert? Obviously, we haven't spoken to you for, for a couple mm. of weeks. There's all, all this. And water in the garden. What, in what? <laughs> what, what's in life players? in general. <laughs> which, which player have you thought, wow, I didn't thing that he would bring what he has to the table um, in terms of the England yes, yes. Uh, I think every every single player has done better than I thought he would I would I would say that Lingard has done much but he didn't play his best today but I wouldn't have had him in the team at the start of the tournament but now he's making those runs from midfield yep. he's been quite dynamic Trippier uh, you know as always the talk was Walker gonna play as the wing back or was it gonna be Trippier were they gonna bring somebody else in at center half but Trippier who lacks athleticism when it comes to defending has done really well and he's got lots of crosses in so he certainly surprised me Right back, best right back in the tournament. Right wing back. Right, right wing back. <laughs> wing back. <laughs> of course. Early thoughts, looking ahead to this game? I think England, I, I honestly f think England will get to the final. Just stop singing that bloody song. <laughs> <laughs> no, Please. That's, yeah. It's coming that, home. That right, I've nothing, I've nothing, no other qualms about England winning. Stop, stop singing that song. <laughs> you were I, singing it earlier. But it's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's in, my it's head. in everybody's head. Look, Chris, I've got some great players. But England had a bit of a stroll for 90 minutes compared to that 120 right. that they've just played. Back-to-back uh, -back 120s. Back-to-back -back 120s and injuries. Is there a plan for Modric and Rakic? I don't know what Gareth's going to... I don't think he's going to change anything. No. But I just think England are in a good place. The back three are working great. Keepers get, been in great form. And I think the game will open up more. And we'll see a better Deli Ali and Harry Kane and Raheem Sterling. So I'm going to go for England. Yeah, well, when we did our, whatever it was called, the predictor thing. Yeah. <laughs> is it, what was it? Is match it predictor? predictor? Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had England losing this game, but it was 10 days ago. And when, now I've seen Croatia. Uh, you can't I, change your predictor now. Can't I? Because you've got the semi final lineup exactly. I got, all, yeah, I got the four teams, yeah. yeah but That's why you brought I, that up. Hey. No, 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 you, no, you brought it up. Well, you brought the bracket. Yeah. No, I didn't. I you brought, did you brought that bracket. Excuse me. When I did, when I did, I did that, that one. I brought up this. He maneuvered you to the bracket. I brought, exactly. I brought up this particular game. I said, you're, you're, in the I didn't say the other two teams on the other side. But I had England <laughs> losing. But now I've seen Croatia against Denmark and tonight. I don't think they've got that much up front to worry England. I thought Rebic and Kramaric, uh, Kramaric are not that good. Mandzukic is plays on the periphery, he doesn't play like a centre-forward anymore. I think as he's got older, he's drifted back to, towards um, Rakitic and Modric and wants to play in there. And I don't think they'll hurt England. I think England will go through. Modric and Rakitic never played high enough. They play high enough, I know. So, you know. And Kramaric playing in that hole behind, he just didn't do anything. England's, scored the goal, but Eng England's, that, ba England's back three look as if they can control that forward line of yeah. Croatia. I don't with think ease, yeah. with ease. Kramaric won't play. He will, Brozovic will, I think Brozovic will play. But that play. means that Rakitic and Modric might play a little bit further forward, but then there's not that much support for Mandzukic if the two wide players end up going in deep, deeper areas. I just, I just think, it's, as a Scotsman, I don't mind, so I just think, I, I, I think England will get to the final. I think the, the player out of France and Belgium is a completely different, different game. Fish, yeah, right? Different right? Game, yeah. But I do think England, and from what I've seen... If they if they switched on as what they have been, I think they'll beat this Croatia side, who are a good side. Yeah. Don't get me wrong.
but I think there'll be more space to operate, and I think that's going to suit England. Well, well, we all agree. We all agree that England's going. So that's through. Croatia going. What could possibly yeah. go wrong? I know, we've got three days as well. <laughs> What's the weakness, Robert? Weakness for England. For England uh, I don't. There are too many weaknesses at the moment. Yeah. If they against Montrić and Rakitic in midfield, and if they play another somebody else in there, Brozovic, could they be outplayed in that area? That could be the only any area. But I don't think when they do outplay England in that area, have they got the threat going forward? So can England get enough domination of that midfield to get their wide players high up the field, to get crosses into the box? Wide players. Why are we even playing? And I England. mean, England's going to win the whole thing. Why are we even we're playing? We're winning we're winning on set plays as well. What's happened to you in your break, Robert? Yeah. Yeah. Normally you're Debbie Downer. Now you're here <laughs> yeah. singing on Come Home. I've seen England play recently. Right. Fin much well. Finish your show by singing It's Coming Home. Got the whole home. Can't do that. <laughs> Don't do that, Robert. From an England perspective, Macca, brilliant. Just so comfortable. Yeah, I think um, the first 10 minutes were a little bit cagey. Then England realised that actually Sweden are not very good. And um, we're very good in the end. Won really comfortably, as you rightly said. Nice, thorough, professional job. They never looked in any moment of danger. Mm -hmm. um, and qualified an absolute cancer, to be honest. Um, very pleasing day. Can't have any qualms about the way England played because they were so comfortable. I must admit, I thought Sweden were woeful. All the things we've said about them being organised and strong and you know defensively sound, that was that went all out the window today, and they were um, a shadow of the performances they put in. But you know, all credit to England, I thought they were excellent again today. You kind of felt Sweden maybe hit their ceiling, mm. and that was it today. Well, yeah, but England were just too good for them. Didn't allow them to play. Henderson was good again. I mean, he, he, he's playing on a yellow card. It takes a lot of discipline. Uh, Back three were excellent again, particularly they've got two big guys up front, big and strong, that caused Germany problems, caused Mexico problems, but the Maguire, Stones and, and, and Walker threesome was playing really well, keepers playing great. Uh, Lingard and, and Ali were quiet in the first half. Uh, and I thought Sterling, Sterling's been getting a lot of stick, but obviously his finishing is not great. Uh, it's improved, certainly improved at Man City this year. But his movement was pretty good and his mm. pace and running in behind. So I just thought it was a really professional and solid performance and they never got a sniff. At least he ran that way, didn't he, Sterling, yeah. once, you know, just to break the lines and run forwards and just to, to mix it up a little bit. We're not used to this as Englishmen. No, right? we're not. Being this kind of easy and straightforward, no penalty yeah. drama or anything like that. If you defend well all around the field, which England did, they never really looked a threat. Pickford had to make three saves in the second half when Sweden started yeah. to put more pressure on. But I thought Trippier down the right-hand side. In the first half, although England didn't play expansive football, whenever they got the ball into the wide areas, they got crosses into the box. Granquist wasn't as dominant as he was against Switzerland, as we saw for the, for the goal. And every time England had a free kick, it looked as though Maguire was going to win the ball in the air, which is a major plus for England. Uh, you let's take a look at the statistics. England um, with more possession, more shots, and deserve winners in the end. Though. Comfortable, deserve winners. I, I'll take the point of Sterling even further. I think he's a player that when we were coming into this game, our concern was, or the concern of English fans was, okay, how do we break through this very well organized Swedish back line and, and, and indeed the midfield? His movement in between the lines, where he created separation from midfielders dropping back and then forces the center backs to step into a position where they don't want to defend, that either opens up spaces underneath or spaces in behind. His recognition of those spaces was very good. He created that separation when he ran with the ball, and then when center backs stepped to him, then he ran in behind. That stretched Sweden, and there was space for England to play. They took advantage of the space, and as a quarterfinal is, you think it's going to be nervous. You think it's going to be tight. You think there's going to be a lot of things that may go against you. This was comfortable. Although Pickford this... had to make three saves in the second half. Yeah, well, Big okay. saves. Maybe so. But this, is, this, this felt at times as it was a preparation match for the tournament, mm -hmm. not a quarterfinal match of the tournament. Sweden, yeah. Don't forget, Sweden beat France in qualifying. Yeah. Right? Uh, they, they beat Italy over two games. They beat South Korea. Should have got some against Germany. Absolutely pasted Mexico. Then put out a very organised Switzerland team. It was no fluke that they got there. But England made them look very average today. I mean, I know they're a workman-like side, but they've, they've, they've been very a lot more competitive than all these other games that I talked about than they were today. A lot of coaches at this World Cup look as if they've thrown their plans out the window. At least England came and have stuck with a plan. They're back three, and the personnel has pretty much uh, stayed the same. Also, all the teams are played. People can say, oh, they've played some weaker teams. Everyone they've played has been teams that have sat in and tried to make it difficult, which, which makes it kind of ugly to play against. There was no way that really Sweden looked as though they were going to cause England problems oh. because they didn't have enough pace to run in behind. 
there wasn't enough movement to create overloads anywhere on the field, and they didn't have anybody that can go past somebody with the ball. So when you've got those three things, or haven't got those three things, you've got a major problem. But England defended well all around the field and didn't allow them to play their game, get it up to the front players and the two front players linking up with each other. They didn't allow too many crosses to come into the box. So it was a good performance. The only game that's not, that wasn't defence against attack was Belgium, but the whole team was changed. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So yeah. Croatia, <laughs> semi-final... It's actually going to be one of the first games in this competition where England are going to face a side that's going to go at them as much as yeah. they're going to go. Might so have more possession. Might be a little bit more open for the Delhi Alleys, for the Raheem Sterlings and Lingas and players like that because every team they've played has been teams that have sat in and put men behind the ball.